Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager (FRM), Part One of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management, and the theories that underlie their use. Linear regression with one regressor. After reviewing the basics of probability and statistics, let us now move on to another important topic: regression analysis. This concept has a wide application in the field of investment analysis. It is basically a measure of relationship between variables. The next four lectures have been devoted to different types of regression and testing their statistical significance through hypothesis. Let us begin from the regression of two variables. Agenda. The agenda of our discussion will be learning about the regression of two variables. That is, there will be one independent variable, and one will be a dependent variable. Regression will be assumed to be linear. That is, the variable changes linearly, with a change in independent variable. We will begin with the concept of regression analysis. Then we will briefly look at the various assumptions used in linear regression. We will then estimate the parameter values of the regression equation. And demonstrate it with the help of an example at the end. Concept of regression. Suppose we have data for two variables, and we need to know how the dependent variable y changes with the independent variable x. A scatter plot depicts the approximate relationship. In our example, we can see that there is an approximate increase in y as x increases. Also, the change seems to be linear. In regression analysis, our main aim would be to determine a line that is the best fit for the scatter plot. This means that the line should be the line that best describes the linear relationship. In other words, we approximate the parameters of the line, the slope, and coefficient, in such a way as to minimize the error terms, or the deviation of the actual values from the predicted values. As you can see, not all points lie on the line, so there is an error in this kind of linear approximation, and it is this error that we need to minimize. The error exists because the relationship is not exactly linear, and there might be other variables that are affecting the value of the dependent variable. For example, petrol prices do change with increase in crude oil prices.